So I did an update video a couple weeks ago. I was talking about how disappointed I was in these blackberries I planted. Um, and I never published it. And let me tell you why I was kind of upset at the time. And I'm glad I waited because these blackberries last year produced some amazingly tasting blackberries. And they were just massive in size. They are the Primark Freedom and Primark 45. And I thought this year most of them died. Um, so I actually took and cut them back pretty far. But if you move over just a little bit, you can see there's blackberries right there starting to grow. And there's more blackberries right there starting to grow. And if we go down to where the next one is, which you can't even see where... I cut it off right there's blackberries starting to grow if you go down to the next one it actually grew outside of the fence <laughs> but that is blackberries in bloom even so there's a couple stalks there one's in bloom one's not but if you look inside there's two or three more right here there's one there there's one over there you can actually see the next one up how dead it looks but if we walk up here and shine the camera down right there is that blackberry plant coming up over here's more now there was actually one or two that didn't do as bad they didn't die all the way to the ground but these first one two three four the first four or five plants died all the way to the ground i didn't think they was coming back back but they did and then the ones that didn't die all the way to the ground that are in bloom, they also have new shoots also. And I'll be honest with you, I'm tickled to death for this. Here's another one that died all the way back to the ground. But there's new blackberries starting to come up. This one didn't die all the way to the ground. It has several that are in bloom. But if you scroll down or zoom in, Right there is new shoots coming up. This one over here did die all the way to the ground. But if we zoom in, new shoots. This one over here didn't die all the way to the ground. It's in bloom. But there's a whole bunch of new shoots coming up for it also. That's kind of the way it is all the way down through here. This one right here did die all the way to the ground. There's a whole bunch of new shoots coming up for it and the one right next to it also. And I'm going to be honest with you, I am tickled to death because these blackberries were awesome. And this also goes out to uh, Diet Cokehead. I think that was the name I was talking to about them. Um, this one here died all the way to the ground, but there's new shoots. One, two, three, four, five new shoots. So these are Primo Canes. Oh, there's even a shoot outside of the fence. Kind of the thing about blackberries, they don't necessarily always grow. If you can put up a fence, don't mean they're going to stay within it. <laughs> um, but Diet Cokehead, I was talking to him, or her. I really don't know if it's him or her. Um, they had bought some uh, Prime Arc Horizons. And I said, you know, last year I had great luck out of my Prime Arc Freedom and Prime Arc 45. And uh, I am so glad to see that they are coming back because I was a little bit worried. Um, they're primo canes. What a primo cane means is that it'll fruit both in the spring, like those are, and then in the fall it'll fruit again. And I don't remember. I think the fall one is actually more than the spring. I can't remember now, but it does actually fruit twice. So I think what happened is the ones that died back to the ground, like this one, I think what really happened is I probably should have cut those canes down and I didn't. Um, they definitely fruited last year and kind of the same with those. They fruited last year and I just didn't cut them down. And I think that maybe just got them kind of uh, get off to a late start this year. So anyways, wanted to update. That's an update on the blackberries. Glad they're coming back. Glad they seem like they're doing great. 
I really look forward to these and I would buy them again for sure. Uh, the Primark Freedom is a thornless and the Primark 45 is not. Um, the thorns wasn't that bad last year. The berries are so big that you don't really get like tore up by the thorns trying to get to the berries. Unlike the wild blackberries I got growing over there. Let me see if I can zoom in where you can see. You can see the white blooms there. Great big patch of wild blackberries there that's about 60 foot wide and goes all the way down the hill. And man, you will be picking thorns out of your arms and legs for days if you go pick them blackberries. Um, they're really small blackberry, just a little bit bigger than like a, uh, than like a kidney bean. But, uh, the Primark Freedom and the Primark 45, they're between a quarter and a half dollar size. They're so big, you can only get like one in your mouth at a time. And they tasted really good, so I'm glad they're coming back. Anyways, getting a little winded on this, saying the same things over and over. So, as always... Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.